Hey y'all, I'm Jason Ruddick. I'm a field agronomist here in Northeast Arkansas. And we've been doing a planting date study in soybeans uh, for the last three years here on this farm. And wanted to kind of show you today some of the things that we're seeing with different varieties and how they respond uh, to planting date. One of the things we've looked at the last two years was we were looking at a mid-April and a mid-May planting date. And we noticed that some varieties responded to those planting dates differently than others. Some would begin to get a little bit taller, a lot lodgier, whenever uh, more lodge prone when we got into that May 15th planting window. And then some products that may have lodged on the May 15th stood really well on the April 15th planting window. So it, uh, we wanted to expand that this year and we've added a March 30th planting date. So this year we've got March 30th, we've got an April 13th, and a May 15th planting date. And we looked at six varieties and they're, they're replicated out here. And so two of the varieties I wanna show you today are kinda of show a difference in how some products can respond uh, to these planting dates in, in, in both plant height and, and architecture. So if you look at this side by side here, I've got plants pulled from two varieties. Both of them are 4.6 maturities. I've got a 46A90LX, which is a new new product for 2023 that we're really excited about. Uh, 46A20LX is the, uh, the other variety here. So you can see I've got them at all three planting dates. And one thing that really stood out was 46A90LX really maintained its lateral branching. And it, it did not tend to get quite as tall between that April 15th or April 13th and that May 15th planting window. And so, you know, it, it got a little taller, uh, but it did not jump in height near as much as the 46A20 did. And so you can see the 46A20 squatted, got a lot shorter with that March planting date. Um, and even so in, in the April, mid-April, it was not quite as tall as the uh, 46A90 and then when we jumped up into the the May 15th planting date 46A20 really elongated out and got a lot taller um, you know relative to the 46A90 so if if you're looking at ways to manage some plant height on your farm planting date may be an option for you there to try to help shorten that plant up narrow up that inner node length and to uh, get some extra bushels as well. We've been seeing uh, some 10 plus bushel responses to planting date with the mid-April versus the mid-May here. And so that's something that, that we're excited about going forward as guys begin to do a lot more early planting. And so that, that could be a way to capture some really good yield advantages going forward. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.